emotional. I was happy to see my family, but I want to get home to my husband and my kids now. Yeah. So, I hope I can make this flight with the tests and everything. It's a big inconvenience. We had our flights booked for a week's time, <coughs> but we got the news from our daughter in the UK about 12.30, 1 o'clock last night, saying that the UK were going to <coughs> introduce a red list. It's unfair, it's unjustified, um, it's abrupt, and it's not good for tourism for South Africa. We understand that Virgin has, in, has been bringing in a lot of tourists into South Africa. And ever since these regulations were passed last night, uh, people are frantically trying to get back into the UK. The implications for tourism for, for South Africa are dire. It's very unfortunate. The Johannesburg flight and also our Cape Town flight uh, cannot enter the Netherlands without any restrictions. So what that means, that is what they are finding out right now. And as soon as I, I have that information, of course I'll let you know, but that is at the moment the information I can give you. And I can imagine that you have several questions, as I have as well. But that is the uh, situation we are facing. I'll be back with information as soon as I have it. I'll try to keep you informed as good as possible. We have time, madam. We have time. We have time. We have It's straightforward to be fair. I mean, I booked the test last night and then comes today, and it's straightforward, it's quite, quite, quite well organised. Uh, basically, I've just come to inquire about whether we can walk in, and what they've said is that they only have allocated slots and once they fall they can't do anything. They do get allocated slots in the afternoon but then you have to walk in off chance. They, there's no consideration of other children, there's no consideration of getting contact. It's, it's shocking and it's it's okay. And then there's the excuses are lab capacity, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's all excuses and I'm just... No, the thing is it's initially no one expected this, so you understand initially there would be obstacles. However, it's a, it's a pandemic. 
so you've got a plan and there's no, there doesn't seem to be any planning going on and now unfortunately it's the children that are suffering in schools now now my children have got some symptoms and they've been told that you've got a test if there's no if, if it's if there's no test that's been done then they have to, have to another, stay at home for another 14 days which is another 14 days of the education gone which has a knock-on effect on them on their social and their educational abilities it's just something needs to be done and it's just we're going through obstacles all the time you go online it crashes all the time i've been on the phone for 119 i've just leave work to come home just to make sure everything's okay i was on the phone for 45 minutes and then he cut me off i had to come in here to see if there's a capacity and there's nothing so it's just just shocking